Amos Kaufman started with a few apple trees in 1915. Now, 100 years later, his descendants are still growing strong. The varieties of apples and peaches that we grow are different from what Grandpa grew. The, the sized trees we use were now dwarfing rootstocks on apple trees where he's planted the old standard trees. Now we mark it online. Uh, Grandpa didn't know what online was, of course. Five generations of Kaufmans have worked this land, and a sixth is on its way. To celebrate, they opened their doors to the community to share their passion with everyone. I love what I'm doing. I like to develop the orchards and, and see them prosper. I have an excellent crop this year. Uh, yeah, it feels, feels really good. Uh, the response here is tremendous today. We're not sure where all these people are coming from. <laughs> the Kaufman family credits three things for their success. Faith, family, and of course, the fruit. God has blessed the orchard abundantly. The, the land is good for growing fruit. We have an excellent crop of apples this year, peaches too. And there's been a tremendous amount of teamwork over the years. And the business hasn't been afraid to innovate and expand. We're selling things today that were unheard of 50 years ago. Products range from raw fruits to ciders, butters, and pies. The Kaufman name and their line of products head out from this farm to locations across the state. While their name continues to grow, their roots are right here in Lancaster, and they are 100 years deep. We would hope that the business keeps on going. It's hard to predict whether that's going to be so or not. At the Kaufman Orchard, I'm Peter Taraborelli, News 11.